Welcome back. The news in details. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on Monday held a meeting with the Prime Minister, Presidential Aide for National and Strategic Projects, and Minister of Telecommunications, where he followed up the implementing rates of national projects in the field of telecommunications and information technology. President Sisi directed to accelerate the implementation of Digital Egypt Initiative and to expand the fields targeted by the initiative. The head of state also directed to use the technology of industrial intelligence in the state's various projects. The communications minister briefed the president on the executive status of several projects, including the digitalization of several public services. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi said on Monday that the issue of Ethiopia's disputed dam remains on top of Egypt's concerns as we seek to maintain the country's historical rights in the Nile water and as it is a matter of national security. He added that Egypt seeks to reach a comprehensive binding legal agreement with Sudan and Ethiopia on rules for filling and operating the dam. This came during his meeting with visiting Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. During the meeting, the President warned that leaving this issue unsettled undermines security and stability in the region. For his part, the Russian foreign minister reiterated his country's stance that rejects any threat to Egypt's rights in the Nile water and to any unilateral measures. Lavrov expressed hope that a settlement pres that preserves the interests of all parties would be reached as soon as possible. The presidential spokesman said that President Sisi reiterated Egypt's keenness on boosting the strong Egyptian-Russian relations, pointing out to the Egyptian-Russian strategic partnership the talks also covered the latest developments in regional issues of mutual concern. Earlier, Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri held a joint press conference with visiting Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov after earlier talks in Cairo. The talks covered means of boosting Egyptian-Russian relations in all fields, as well as a number of regional and international issues of mutual concern. Foreign Minister Sam Shukri held talks on Monday with visiting Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov. The talks cover means of boosting Egyptian-Russian relations in all fields as well as a number of regional and international issues of mutual concern. The talks cover joint projects including the Daba nuclear power station and the Russian industrial zone. After the talks, the two ministers held a joint press conference. Speaking during the press conference, Shukri said that the talks covered the disputed Ethiopia's dam. He noted also that Egypt has shown flexibility in the talks, adding that Ethiopia permitted the negotiations. Uh, he noted also that Egypt hopes that Russia's relation with three countries would help in pushing talks uh, and preventing unilateral actions. Uh, Shukri also said that Egypt and Russia are coordinating efforts uh, to restore the Palestinian-Israeli talks after Palestinian elections. For his part, Lavrov said that Ethiopia's dam dispute should be settled through the three-way talks. Uh, Lavrov stressed on the importance of respecting the Syrian sovereignty and Syrians' right to self-demonstration. He added that conditions should be created for reconstruction and the return of refugees. Uh, the talk also covered means of supporting efforts to maintain peace and stability in Libya and to back the political process in the country. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi congratulated the Arab and Muslim nation as well as the Egyptian people on the occasion of the start of the holy month of Ramadan. Early on Monday, President al-Sisi exchanged Ramadan greeting messages with heads of state and kings of the Arab and Islamic nations. The president also sent similar messages to Egyptian Muslims abroad. Meanwhile, the president received the Ramadan greeting messages from high-ranking officials who extended their best wishes to the president. The head of state received a phone call from Qatari Emir, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad bin Khalifa Thani, extending his greetings over the holy month of Ramadan. Presidential spokesman Bassam Rodi said that during the phone call, President Sisi thanked Qatar's Emir on his greetings, expressing wishes of welfare and prosperity for the Arab and Muslim nation. President Sisi received a call from Bahraini King Hamad bin Isa Khalifa congratulating him over the holy month. The two Arab leaders exchanged the good wishes for the two brotherly people of Egypt and Bahrain and hopes of prosperity and welfare. 
Also Monday, Sisi called his Algerian counterpart, Abin Megid Taboun, to convey his greetings over Ramadan to His Excellency and the Algerian people. The Sisi as well called the head of the Libyan Presidential Council, Mohamed El Menfi, wishing him and the Libyan people a happy Ramadan. The President also congratulated Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmad Al Jaber Al Sabah, Emir of Kuwait, to send him his good wishes for the holy month and extended his wishes for safe and prosperous Kuwait. Earlier on Sunday, the Grand Mufti of the Republic, Shawi Alem, announced that the holy month of Ramadan will start on Tuesday. In a statement, Egypt's Dar al said that Monday would be the last day of Shaban for the 1442 Hijri year. The Muslim holy fasting month of Ramadan will begin on Tuesday, April 13th, in Egypt and Lebanon. Welcome back. Egypt's stock indices collectively rose in the trading session on Monday by strong purchasing operations of shares in different categories. The benchmark EGX30 index jumped by 0.55%. The EGX70 index for small and medium businesses went up by one and three quarters of a percent. The broader EGX100 index also went up by 1.48%. The market capitalization gained 4.6 billion Egyptian pounds to close at 653.2 billion amid transactions and deals of about 2.5 billion pounds. <laughs> 